In today's video, we are seeing if we can make our own ready-made meal bars out of actual meals. We shouldn't. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, our kits are back in the shop and available for you to get now. So if you're trapped inside and need something to do, we have some solutions. They're great because you get to put them together and then you get to play with them. So it's like two stages of fun available now. They have everything you need in them. Click the link down in the description to get yours today. Guys, it is the end of the day at the studio right now. And I had a wonderful idea. Nate's so excited about it. Here's the basic idea. We are all going to go to different fast food restaurants. We're not gonna tell each other where we're going and we're gonna bring those meals back to the studio. Then we're gonna puree them, all of them, and we're gonna freeze dry them and see if we can make our own protein meal bars. Normally if you have a power bar, a meal bar, a trail bar, something that you take hiking or camping or just for snacking in your car like I do, granola, chocolate, proteiny flavor. No, we're just gonna blend up some meals and see if we can make them edible. All right guys, it's actually been a couple of days, but here we are at, that's almost noon now. It's almost acceptable to have all of these uh, food choices available in the studio. You got a Burrito got Supreme. A Doritos Logos Taco and a Burrito Supreme okay. from Taco Bell. I got some lemon lime flavored soda because I thought that kind of mixed with the others sure. best. Sure. And then just a couple packets of hot sauce. I got fried rice, two orders of orange chicken, orange soda, and a cookie. And then we have fries, Big Mac, and a Coke. So out of all three of these, Nate, which one do you think is going to make an edible meal bar? I think all of them are going to be really bad, but I think that the Taco Bell has the best chance of being something that I would like be able to stomach. I think orange chicken and orange soda, I have high hopes for. I probably shouldn't, but I do. I have zero hope for this, except I'm very excited to see it all in a blender. We've got our blender here. I'm just so happy well, about this. one burrito. <laughs> One Doritos Locos Taco, and as is standard, the shell is somewhat broken. Let's get some hot sauce. I'll just put like one or two in. You gonna pour the whole thing right now? No, okay. I'm gonna start with just a little bit and see how far I have to go. You understand that we have to taste this before we freeze dry it too, right? Yeah, I did think of that. All right. It smells like Taco Bell. It does, but looking at that and smelling the Taco Bell smell is... So you have to close your eyes. Honestly, yeah, if you close your eyes, it, it just, just smells, smells like, like a taco. taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> we have a Taco Bell smoothie, which is the worst thing I've ever said. I mean, the <laughs> texture, the gut reaction to the texture is revulsion, honestly, because it's exactly like <laughs> Taco Bell that you've already don't, chewed up. No, okay. That tastes like a sort of sweet Taco Bell sauce that you might get to dunk your chips in. I mean, you can still taste like the Taco Bell meat flavor and all that. The soda is not like terribly strong. Like there's a slight sweetness mm -hmm. to it. Maybe a little bit of the lemon lime just mixed in. And Callie is now going to use Taco Bell blended up as a dip for her chip. Does that make it better? If you just think of it as like a seven layer dip or something? Yep, try that. That actually makes it way better. It's still weird, but it's so much less gross than just putting a scoop of like paste in your mouth. Okay, see, now I'm happy that I tried it before we poured it out. But That's... look how good that looks. Orange chicken time. You ready for this? I suppose. You're now going to watch me eat an entire panda ex... Okay, no, I guess Blender. I put it in. Okay, Blender. Blender. My brush one was longer. I think it's dead now. I think so. I'm really not eager for this one at all. <laughs> okay. It smells so strongly of fake orange. Fake orange and vinegar, though. I keep my eyes closed for this, honestly. Okay. Here's the problem. We made a rice paste, so this one's obviously going to be a lot stickier than the it's other very one. very gooey. I was right. Orange soda works very well with the orange chicken. That's a good plan. I probably shouldn't have put as much rice in there as I did because... <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a bit isn't on the that, thick side. Isn't, isn't that called a cement mixer? If you can get a milkshake to do that? <laughs> if we had crackers, the other ones... We have crackers. Chips. This, I think crackers might work as a delivery vehicle. Things I do for my country. America.
If you served it at a party, people might eat it, and they would never in a million years guess what it was. Hummus is often celebrated for being vegan, being made of chickpeas and stuff. This is made out of chicks. This is the opposite. <laughs> oh, we forgot the cookie. We did. You gotta crumble it up. Never mind, that's perfect. Start with that, yep. see how it goes. I'm really not excited about eating any of this. <sighs> Are you proud of your life choices? No. <laughs> I'm not even gonna smell it first. I'm just, I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm just gonna. About the same. It's like smelling the inside of a bag of McDonald's food. The lettuce smell comes through strangely strong. Not a fan of this one, huh? The lettuce flavor comes through strangely strong. <laughs> this tastes like what I would think the mop water at McDonald's would taste like. <laughs> 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 Are you okay? Oh, that's a very like good that. description. The lettuce is... The strongest flavor. Why is the lettuce the strongest flavor? If you gave this to people and asked what it was, I bet every single person would be like... It's McDonald's. It tastes like a McDonald's burger, but like as a paste. I think everyone would get it. What you taste is what you get. You know what doesn't come through though? The fries. At all, no. I think the Coke added a little bit of the tanginess. Maybe. I think the Coke flavor weirdly seems to combine with the lettuce because like the lettuce is like plant and then there's like the tangy from the coke. Well, we have three meals in a manner of speaking. Let's throw them to the freeze dryer and I thought you were see what say, happens. I thought you were gonna throw them away and go home because we are done, but no, we've only just started. Our fast food meal paste is now successfully freeze dried. I think we've got nice, dry, whatever this is. I think the first important step though is to see what's in the fortune cookie. Yes. Also, I like that the fortune cookie like fluffed molded. up. What? Did molded. It actually, oh, like melded. Oh, melded to, to it, yes. Is it any different? Slightly fluffier. That's a fortune cookie. Well, what order do you want to try these in? Same order we made them. All right. The idea, we'll see if we can make like meal bars. So I'm going to try and cut them into bars. I think they're just going to shatter. Like shape. Mm. Kind of cut. Yeah. It cut the way a Nature Valley bar would, which is how you were kind of describing these when you wanted to make them. Yeah. Crumblies. Sure, look at those bars. Mmm. Mmm. 100% Taco Bell. The most disturbing part to me about this is the fact that you can still see the fractal patterns that you get when you freeze dry a lot of liquids. That's the most disturbing thing? Yeah, actually. Not the fact that it's Taco Bell. Here goes. It's so dry. That lettuce flavor is still coming through pretty strong. Remember how it came through real strong in the paste? I remember that for the McDonald's, Taco Bell. Oh, it was more than McDonald's. Mm -hmm. If Taco Bell were going to market, hey guys, we started making crackers. I would accept this. It's drier than a saltine. Like this is crunchy cardboard fluff that does kind of taste like Taco Bell. It's actually not morally reprehensibly bad, but if you gave me the choice between this and so many other things, I would pick the other things. On to the next one. Well, this is not gonna be bars. Crackers! This is gonna be crackers. That was almost bar shaped. We've made brittle. That rice, that really gets hard and crunchy. It's the consistency of the... It is pretty <laughs> similar to the cookie. Yeah, all right, let's try this. Ah, orange chicken and rice. The sudden orange like hit me a little bit and it was like, eh, what? After it hits though, it's like flavorless, crunchy, just slight orange. Teriyaki, turkey jerky. It's tangy, it's orangey, it's chicken. And that's kind of what it tastes like to me. I thought I was gonna hate this so much. Mm -hmm. You could feed me that and be like, this is a cracker. I'd be like, yes it is. And I enjoy this cracker. I don't normally enjoy crackers. <sighs> yeah. Big Mac fries and a Coke, huh? Oh no. Cuts a little bit more like the Taco Bell. Yep, it looks like styrofoam already. Maybe it falls apart a little bit more. How crumbleable is this one? It's similar to the Taco Bell. Yeah, 
Whoa. It's like if you that had took a while to hit. stale bread that somebody had used to clean the the surfaces of a McDonald's. So like it was the end of the night and they had some buns left over and there was like ketchup and lettuce and some mushed up fries and some spilled grease. And they're like, well, I don't have a rag, so. And then they just let it sit there. Are there for pickles on the Big Mac? Oh yeah, you hate pickles. I'm tasting good. the lettuce and the pickles. Like somebody poured, then poured some pickle juice onto that bun and then just let it sit there. Stale bread with pickle juice. Until it just got stale. Orange chicken with orange soda. I win. Would you actually recommend any of these as a survival food? I would take that as a trail snack. I'm gonna take a piece of this. Oh no. And put it in water. Uh, nope. Just to see what happens to it. Not much of the rice, I'm gonna bet. Too starchy. Well, it didn't absorb anything quickly. It's still pretty crunchy on the inside. It only soaked in a little bit in that amount of time. That frankly makes it easier to eat. I don't know about better, but easier. Oh, oh, ew, ew. That absorbed it so quickly. The bread soaks it up way more than the rice. Look at that, you can see how fast it absorbs it. Now you're just making a mess for the sake of making a mess, aren't you? No, no. Yeah, no, you no. are, I thought so. I made your smoothie. <laughs> Am I doing the outro? I'm, he, he left. Guys. What other horrible things do you want to see us do with the freeze dryer and fast food meals? <laughs> Guys, that was awful. But you know, we've always got more fun experiments for you to see. Check out that box at the top for our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then. Hey. Mm. Brainstorm? <laughs> <Poor thing. laughs> no!